Sometimes while I'm recording a lesson, my desktop background image can be seen by viewers. And many people ask me where I got it or how I made it. So in this lesson, we're going to demonstrate how to create stunning color spectrum web page backgrounds or desktop wallpaper backgrounds. So here's my desktop wallpaper that everyone asks about. And since so many people ask, I thought a tutorial would be appropriate. That way you can make your own any style you want, any colors you want. First, let's go to File, New, put the settings you want in for your file, and press OK. Now make sure you have the gradient tool selected, and you can change the color of your gradient before you even draw it. You can see mine goes from black to white. Now I'm going to go right about here, click down, hold, and drag all the way up to the top, and then let go. Okay, so drawing from the bottom up gives us a gradient going from white to black. Now let's go to Filter, Distort, Wave, and then you can preview the different types. You have sine, triangle, and square. I'm going to choose square. And you can also play with these things to get different effects. So if I change this from 5 to something like 15, my little preview window changes. And I wanted something more like that. You can also play with the amplitude. So once you play with everything and get it looking how you want it, then you press OK. Then we're going to double click the layer. Let's name it Color Spectrum BG. OK. Now double click the layer again. Now we're going to go down here in the styles to gradient overlay. Let's set the blend mode. You can use either multiply or linear burn. We'll both give you a good look. I'm going to use multiply. Then I'm going to click the gradient and I'm going to choose the spectrum. And I can change the colors all I want. OK. Now let's change the angle to a zero. So you can see what happens when you change the angle. The closer you get to zero, the more it goes vertical. And you can play with the scale. And there's also the style setting. But you would want to leave it on linear for this. If we put it on radial, you can play with all these on your own. I'm just going to leave it on linear. And if you play with the opacity, it'll take those hard colors down and make them kind of pastel sort of like that put them all the way back on 100 and the colors full press OK now anytime you want to adjust that you can just double click your gradient overlay for instance if I want to change my blend mode at any time I can go to linear burn and you can play with all of these blend modes to see exactly what it will do for you okie dokie if you enjoyed the video you just watched click on the subscribe button to tune into Adam's channel he produces new videos on a regular basis. Below the subscribe button are a few more of his video tutorials that other viewers have found to be helpful or inspiring. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.